faith and love and serving Him. With our two. I become weak without your help. Nothing can I do. I need your strength. I need your power to make me strong. Lahat ng mga Kristiyano, tunay na mga Kristiyano, kailangan na kailangan maging malakas sapagkat sa mundong ito maraming mga dahilan maraming mga pangyayari maraming mga problema na makapanghina sa mga Kristiyano so kailangan natin ang matuto paano tayo magtiis sa mga kahirapan o paghihirap. Kailangan tayo ay may panindigan sa mga pangako ng Diyos sa Kanyang kasulatan. Kailangan natin na tayong mga Kristiyano ay palaging mag-aral sa kanyang mga salita sapagkat sa salita ng Diyos dyan natin malalaman mauunawaan ang kalakasan ang salita ng Diyos ay makapangyarihan upang baguhin ang ating puso upang baguhin ang ating isipan upang baguhin ang ating katayuan. Ang salita ng Diyos ay nagdudulot, nagbibigay ng kalakasan sa ating pananampalataya, sa ating paglilingkod sa Diyos, sa ating pagtitiwala sa Kanya, at sa ating pagsamba sa Kanya. Kahit sa pagmamahal, kailangan pa rin ng kalakasan sa ating buhay para sa kalulatian ng ating Panginoon. At kailangan din natin na tayo ay matuto at makipaghiwalay o mapalayo sa mga maruming bagay na salungat sa kalooban ng Diyos. How to be strong spiritual person? One is, don't judge yourself or others. The path of a spiritual person is to release judgment for themselves and others. You trust that there is always a divine plan to every person, life, and every situation. Do not gossip or talk badly of others. When you have an opportunity to speak a kind word, take it. Humanity needs more love and support and less criticism and condemning. Add your light to the world. Lend a hand to create positive change. This could be through volunteer work, sponsoring a child, or endangered species, donating to a cause you are passionate about, recycling and being conscious of the world you live in, from the environment to other people's feelings. Learn how to balance. The joy of being a spiritual person is being aware of the life process and its challenges and striving to create the time to balance work, play, and rest. Respect yourself. A spiritual person believes that self-love is necessary to love others. Taking loving care of yourself through a healthy diet, exercise, and quiet time allows you reflective healing time with the divine which in turn allows you to give more joy, love, and wisdom to others. Stay in the now. Being present is essential on the spiritual path. Acknowledging that we live 
that we are free from the limitations of time if we learn to truly live in the now allows us to receive new opportunities and manifest miracles. Don't give up. There may be days when you feel doubt or fear creep in. Being a spiritual person doesn't mean you have to be perfect. Your soul is already perfect. It's your human. It's your human self you are learning from. Open yourself up to learning the lessons and try to find joy and humor in the process. Do no harm. Try to avoid killing bugs. The simple act of kindness can create a major shift within your consciousness. Choose your words wisely. As a spiritual person, you recognize how powerful your words are and you express yourself from a place of love and compassion for others. Always with the intention to heal, learn and grow. Avoid becoming a spiritual snob. You can never know it all. Your way is not better than someone else. Remain humble and in a state of gratitude and awe for this incredibly interesting world we live in. Keep learning. As a spiritual person, you have a thirst for knowledge and self-discovery. You are always working towards becoming a better person, a kinder and more loving person, a forgiving person. Read inspiring books and surround yourself with positive people. Watch inspiring educational forms. Invite art and literature into your life. A spiritual person is a rich with passion and love for all of life and is on a lifelong quest to keep evolving and growing beyond self-imposed in limitations. Ang lahat ng mga pananampalataya ay palaging nagpagdigma sa kalaban. Walang iba kung hindi ang demonyo. 1 Peter 5.8 And his evil spiritual forces which he dispatches and assigns to perpetrate his wickedness throughout the world. The scripture says that we wrestle against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6.12 We are all well aware of the evil characteristic of Satan, that he kills, steals, and destroys. John 10.10 But beyond his routine, harassment, temptations, or hit and run attacks, the devil's forces seek territory to establish long-term strongholds in which they may dominate and hold captive. Satanic forces search for people, cities, and nations in which they are not resisted and where they may flourish. The strongholds could be actual demon position, but can merely be strong, influence or grip, persistent oppression, obsessions, hindrances, or harassment. Believers cannot be demon possessed but many Christians are the victims of Satan's strongholds. Kailangan, mga kapatid, na ang pagpalakas sa ating panampalataya at paglilingkod sa Diyos ay kailangan na kailangan sapagkat, as I said while ago, na maraming maraming mga pagsubok ang mundong ito, maraming maraming pagsubok ang ating buhay, Maraming maraming mga paghihirap na ating mararanasan sa both present and future at kailangan na tayo ay maging malakas. Malakas sa pag-ibig sa Panginoon, malakas sa panampalataya, malakas sa paglilingkod, malakas sa mga panalangin. Lahat ng bagay ng kalakasan na ating makamit mula sa Diyos through His Word with the help of the power of the Holy Spirit ay ating gagawin at sa buhay natin na buong-buo sapagkat ang ating kalakasan ay kailangan sapagkat ang kalooban ng Diyos ay hindi ang kahinaan o minsan manghina tayo ngunit kailangan ang kalakasan sapagkat sa magitan ng kalakasan yan lamang ang mga paraan upang tayo ay magwagi hindi matatalo sa anumang mga pagsubok sa buhay Lord, maraming salamat. Ang iyong kapangyarihan, ang kalakasan ay mananatili at siya maging gabay at siya ang, uh, ang aming maging sandata laban 
sa mga wiles ng demonyo o anumang mga bagay na maaatake sa aming buhay. Tulungan mo po kami upang kami ay maging malakas sa bawat panahon, bawat oras, bawat saglit sa aming buhay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.